Hi, I'm Bob. On this topic, we will explore the assets options. We can modify the assets title, labels, and ticks using the assets options. We can use two y axis in the same graph. We specify assets titles using assets title option. The basic syntax is as follows. I use line plots as an example. In the graph, I give the y axis the title average household income and the x axis the title survey year. Using the axis label options, we can control the placement and look of labels and ticks on the y axis and the x axis. We often use the y label, x label, y tick, and x tick options. For instance, the x label option specifies the values to be ticked and labeled along the x axis. The x tick option specifies the values to be ticked but not labeled along the x axis. As shown in the line plots, I modified the labels for the y axis and the x axis. I labeled the y axis from 60 to 75, increasing by 5. I labeled the x axis from 2000 to 2020, increasing by 5. I put the y labels at a 0 degree angle and x labels at a 45 degree angle with the angle sub-option. I add grid lines from the text on the x axis using the grid sub-option. If we need to use two y axes, we should use the y axis option to specify which axis is for which plots. For example, we may want to know how the car's MPG and price change with the car's weight. We could scatter the MPG and price data against the weight data. We find that graph is hard to read because Stata assumes that all plots use the same y axis. In this case, we can use two y axis. We place MPG data on the first y axis with the y axis 1 option and price data on the second y axis with the y axis 2 option. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.